Hey everybody, Joel Ort here with Hobart Welding Products. Uh, today we're going to take a few minutes to talk about welding on dirty and rusty material. Here on the farm, um, a lot of times it's uh, welding on our equipment, fixing something, or maybe we need to build something and we're grabbing a piece off of the scrap pile that's been outside. It's dirty, it's rusty, and you know you really need to get it clean before you can weld it. So two of the biggest things that you want to keep in mind is to have a good ground and being able to clean your parent material and have enough of it left for a strong weld. Um, so for the ground, besides grinding the area you're going to weld, you're going to want to grind a separate area to attach the ground. You're going to want to get down, get the rust off, the paint off, any oil or debris, and, and get down to bare metal. If you don't do that, you're not going to get a good connection and your machine's not going to weld very well. So then on top of that, you also need to grind all the, the rust. Here I have some oil on this piece here from cutting. We have some cutting fluid. We have rust, we have paint from uh, when this was brand new. All that needs to come off so we can get a good weld. So I'm gonna start by cleaning it. Um, I have a can of brake clean here. I use that, uh, works well to get the oil off. Um, we're gonna do that and then I'll take the grinder with a flap wheel on it. We'll clean off this material here, get the rust gone, and we'll you know see how it looks after that. So right now the brake clean is just kind of cleaning the oil off of the piece. The brake clean will, uh, it'll kind of dissolve itself and that and it, it, it dries up. But uh, the one thing you want to keep in mind is that it is flammable. So right now you have, you have the can and you have the rag here with a little bit of uh, residual left on it. You know, get that out of the way so you don't have any sparks hitting it and uh, so nothing bad happens in your shop. It just takes a few seconds, this is dry feel comfortable grinding on it. So we're gonna take off maybe about an inch on the bottom here, get down to the parent material. You know, another thing to think about too, this pipe here has got a heavy wall thickness. So as I grind this rust and paint off, I've got plenty of material left to make a good strong weld. If you're, you know, uh, maybe fixing something that's some sheet metal that's been outside, you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind that by the time you clean that off, you've got enough left to actually weld and not burn through. You know, sometimes you may have to cut a patch out and weld in some new parent material behind that, but you'll know that when you clean it off. Okay, I think uh, the end is looking pretty good. I'm gonna grind a little spot up here for our ground clamp and uh, then we should be done. Okay, I like how that turned out. Came out pretty clean, the rust wasn't too bad. Plenty of material left to weld on, so let's take this pipe and go get our gate started. 